Imagine a book created over 1400 years ago that contains scientific and historic revelations that even the scholars of its time could not comprehend. How is that possible today? We are going to explore some of the most astounding miracles of the Quran, a text that continues to defy logic and history, making it clear that its origin is not of this world. According to the verse, Allah tells us that everything on earth has an end, up until the last century. Most scientists thought matter was eternal, but with the discovery of the laws of thermodynamics, that belief has changed. The Quran informs us that everything will eventually perish. Allah also mentions in the Quran that we created a protective roof over the sky, but they ignore these warning signs on earth. The atmosphere serves as a shield, shielding us from various dangers. It is commonly known that millions of meteors disintegrate when they collide with the atmosphere and that the ozone layer filters harmful ultraviolet rays. Furthermore, the Van Allen Belt, a strong magnetic field created by the Earth, shields humans from solar storms and radiation equivalent to 100 billion atomic bombs. Although the origin of iron is still being studied, we know that it is abundant in red giant stars. Meteorites and small amounts of native iron exist. On Earth, scientifically, it has been proven that iron was not formed on our planet. If we interpret the term sky as our planet's atmosphere, we can affirm that it truly is a protective roof without which human life would be impossible. The Quran also says in the sense of the verse we sent down iron in which there is great strength and benefits for humanity. The verse in the Quran reminds us that Allah is the one who anchored the mountains on earth and asks, have we not made the earth a resting place and the mountains as stakes? It also mentions that Allah placed the mountains there to provide stability to the earth. In addition to proving that, mountains help stabilize the earth's crust, as mentioned in the Quran, and that God firmly placed mountains on earth so that it would not shake with you. Modern geology has confirmed that mountains have deep roots beneath the surface, making the comparison with stakes meaningful. This fact was discovered in the 19th century, which maintains that mountains serve as stabilizers was not discovered until the 1960s. How can the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, have known? These facts more than 1400 years ago. The only plausible explanation is that the Quran is the revealed word of Allah. As you are likely aware, the moon is a body that reflects light. It has no inherent light of its own, but instead reflects the light of the sun. This phenomenon is also mentioned in the Quran. Do you not see that Allah created the earth and the heavens? The moon is described as a body that reflects light in this verse. The Quran tells us in another verse that the disbelievers do not think that the earth and the heavens were one entity, even though the sun is compared to a lamp signifying the initial source of light and energy, and we divided them, and from water, we created all living things. Would they not then believe that the phrase the beginning of life is in water can refer to the water of the skies, seas, or any other liquid form? This information which we hear. Now take for granted was unknown to the Arabs more than 1400 years ago and hasn't been refuted. In fact, we see that all living things are primarily composed of water. The human body, for instance, is 70% water. And that the Quran mentions the phenomenon of each line, which refers to the separation of fresh and salt water. According to the meaning of the verse in the Quran, he is the one who has released the two seas, one sweet, pleasant, and fresh, and the other salty. Bitter and erected an impenetrable barrier between them, scientists and divers have both confirmed this well-known phenomenon. One more remarkable fact. The Quran also gives a clear description of the Big Bang in the verse that says, Do not the unbelievers see that the heavens and the earth were a single entity? and we separated them and made all living things from water. The Quran explicitly states that we built the heavens with power, and certainly we are expanding it. At the time of the revelation, the term space had not yet been coined, so people referred to the sky as what was above the earth. However, the Big Bang Theory holds that the entire universe originated from an extremely dense and hot singularity that exploded and initiated the expanded universe. This concept is consistent with the Quran's description of the universe's expansion. Another intriguing story found in the Quran 
concerns the ants and their battle with Solomon's army, peace be upon him. The verse states that when they reached the valley of the ants, one of the ants told the others to enter their home so that Solomon and his army would not encounter them, crush you, without realizing that this story implies that ants can communicate with one another, something that science has verified ants are. Arranged in complex societies where they trade food and bury their dead, recent research has revealed that they use sounds to communicate. Finally, the Quran also describes in detail the development of the human embryo in the sense of the verse, we created man from an extract of clay. Then we placed him as a drop in a safe place. Then we turned that drop into a clot. Then formed the bones and clothed the bones with flesh and made him a son. New creation. This cooperation between ants is now confirmed by modern science. They also have a special organ that rubs parts of their body to produce warning sounds. Grateful be Allah, the most excellent creator. Muslims invited a renowned embryologist, Dr. Keith L. Moore, to Saudi Arabia so he could examine these descriptions and confirm that they align with contemporary scientific understanding of human development. The Muslims made sure the expert traveled there and provided all the resources he needed, including the translation of the Quranic verses, among that. Other things, everything was meticulously planned, which left the researcher deeply surprised and confused. The expert was astounded, given his specialized knowledge in embryology, to discover that several scientific facts discovered in the last 30 years had already been mentioned in the Quran centuries ago. He even modified certain parts of the second edition of one of his books before his birth. Section on the history of embryology already contained information from the Quran which he considered ahead of its time Hur Maryam. Account of the birth of Jesus, peace be upon him, is narrated in the Quran. The Quran mentions in detail the story of his conception and birth. That when Mary was experiencing the agony of giving birth, Allah consoled her by saying, Do not be alarmed. Your Lord has created a stream to flow. Beneath you, shake the trunk of the palm tree so that fresh dates may fall, eat, drink, and rejoice. This verse, which is not found in the Bible, indicates that Mary shook the palm tree to cause the dates to fall, which are a fruit that is rich in fructose and therefore perfect for expectant mothers long. Before modern medical discoveries, the Quran mentions eating dates during childbirth as a way to reduce bleeding as evidenced by research. This is in contrast to the use of intramuscular oxytocin. This advice on breastfeeding perfectly aligns with the current recommendations of the World Health Organization, which suggest exclusive breastfeeding for the first six months of life and recommend continuing until two years accompanied by appropriate feeding. Allah also says in the Quran in Dua, sense of the verse, and mothers who wish to breastfeed their children should do so for two full years. An additional verse in the Quran describes significant military action, Aleph Lam Mim. The power belongs to Allah before and after, and on that day the believers will rejoice as. This verse revealed, the Romans have been defeated in the lowest region of the land, but after their defeat, they will triumph in a few years. Predicted a conflict between the Roman Empire and the Persians in 6 to state that even though the Romans had been defeated, they would win in a few years. What is most astonishing about this prediction is that it came true exactly as stated in the Quran. When the Romans defeated the Persians, which at the time seemed unlikely, given the strength of the Persian Empire, how could Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, have made such accurate predictions if not through divine revelation at a time when he was being accused of lying? The Quran and Hadith both attest to the moon's splitting during the Prophet's lifetime. In other videos, I have discussed this fact. The Quran quotes Allah as saying that the hour has drawn near and that the moon has split. This incident has to do with the deep fissures that were found on the moon's surface a few years ago by NASA, validating the indications that were previously mentioned in the Holy Quran in a number of different regions of the moon. These fractures, which continue to defy modern science, imply that the moon may have been broken apart at some point and then miraculously put back together. 
In the context of the verse, Allah mentions in the Quran while no physical pillars are mentioned. The verse in the Quran makes it clear that this belief was incorrect. Although there is a force that holds the universe together that is invisible to human eyes, it could be gravity or another unknown force like dark energy. Only Allah has full knowledge of these mysteries. Allah is the one who raised the heavens without visible pillars to course. Support them in the 7th century. Many people in the Arabian Peninsula believed that the sky was held up by invisible pillars located at the ends of the world. This verse dispels the myths that were prevalent in earlier religions, such as the beliefs held in ancient Egypt. Speaking of Egypt, the Quran also addresses a common misconception in that civilization. The ancient Egyptians believed that when a pharaoh died, the earth trembled and the sky shed tears. Hieroglyphs have been discovered that say the sky weeps for you and the earth trembles for you when you ascend to the sky as a star. However, the Quran clarifies in the sense of the verse that neither the sky nor the earth wept for them, nor were they granted more time. Everything in Allah's creation occurs under his wisdom and control. While the Bible also mentions the crossing of the sea and the pursuit of Moses, peace be upon him, by Pharaoh, the Quran adds a further detail, Pharaoh's body was preserved as a sign for future generations. In a similar manner, Allah recounts in the Quran, and we saved the children of Israel by crossing the sea, while Pharaoh and his army pursued them with hatred and aggression. When Pharaoh was about to drown, he said, Now I believe that that there is no God but him in whom the children of Israel believe, and I am of those who submit. We preserve your body so that you can serve as an example for those who follow you. By examining a small sample of the mummy's muscle under a microscope, Dr. Morris Buki, the author of a renowned work on Pharaoh's mummy, identified Marenta, son of Ramses II, as the Pharaoh who perished chasing. Moses, in his studies, it was found that the body did not spend much time submerged in water, and x-rays also revealed that several of his bones were broken, most likely as a result of the force of the waves. These results were first presented by Buell in 1976 at the French Institute of Legal Medicine. Morris Buki comes to the conclusion that it is nonsensical to believe that the Quran was penned by a human. Dr. Buki found that the name Hmon as it appears in the Quran was written in ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. Pharaoh mocking Moses, peace be upon him, said, O Heman, build me a tower so, that I may reach the heavens and see the God of Moses. From this mention, we understand that Hammond was a builder working under Pharaoh's command. A remarkable coincidence since these hieroglyphs weren't deciphered until the 18th century, long after the Quran's revelation. Mars Buki consulted a renowned Egyptologist and showed him an Arabic text from the 7th century without disclosing that it was from the Quran. He wrote the name Hmon in Arabic in front of the Egyptologist who recognized it right away, even though we now, now know the exact spelling of H-Man. The specialist commented that there must have been a mistake with the dating because for centuries hieroglyphs had remained untranslated, making it impossible to know such a name during earlier periods. The Egyptologist stated, stated that the name that had been unknown for so long could not have been recorded in hieroglyphs. The Egyptologist advised Morris Bukai to look up the name in a specialized dictionary. To his surprise, he discovered the precise reference to Han, who was in fact a well-known leader, in charge of the workers in the quarry, who was in charge of construction, as mentioned in the Quran, in one of its surahs book. When Kyle came back with a cock of that page and showed it to the Egyptian, along with a page from the Yi Quran on which the name Han appeared, the Egyptian was shocked and fell silent. The only reasonable explanation is that the name Hamon, as it appears in the Quran, has been recorded in Egyptian records since ancient times, highlighting the truth and perfection of the Quran as the word of Allah. The Quran, which is a guide for humanity, was revealed to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, over a period of 23 years at that time. At that time, the Arabs were known for their great skill in poetry and the Arabic language, which can find hundreds of synonyms for a single word. Even Oriental scholars and other experts recognize the perfection of the Quran style, affirming that it is unmatched. How could someone who did not know how to read or write have produced verses that transform the history of the world with astonishing accuracy regarding past, future, 
and scientific art. Arts. Facts. Despite their linguistic prowess, they were unable to replicate even a single shura or verse to contradict the message of the prophet, peace be, upon him who, according to history, was illiterate. The Quran itself challenges the disbelievers saying in the sense of the verse, or, do they say he has fabricated it? Say, then bring ten shuras like it, if you are truthful and call upon whomever you can, besides Allah, that are just now being found, Allah is the only one with perfect knowledge. So the Quran not only teaches us to be humble before him, but also provides the answers to the most profound questions about our existence. I hope this topic has piqued the interest of those who do not believe but would like to learn more. I would like you to like, share, and subscribe to this video. May the Prophet Muhammad, his family, and all of his companions experience peace and blessings.